Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a peek inside this science book for the elementary age. It is called Christian Kids Explore Earth and Space and it is put out by Bright Ideas Press. I will leave a link where you can find this um, science book and where you can purchase it. I'll leave a link down below. It is a 30-week science curriculum. It has hands-on activities, vocabulary words, unit reviews, memory lists, scripture cards, coloring pages, a resource list, timeline prompts, and folder book instructions. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this science curriculum. It also includes a CD it's called the Companion CD, and what's included on here are pretty much all of the coloring pages that you might want to print out, um, any worksheets or activities that are in here. You can either photocopy them right out of the book, or I think it's a lot easier just to put that CD into my computer and print out the exact number of copies that I want for whatever page, worksheet coloring, uh, sheet that I want. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of this book. We'll flip right here to the table of contents and as you can see um, it's divided into units. So each unit is on a specific topic related to earth and space. This one is just getting started so it's just kind of an introduction. What you will see in each unit is that there is a list of vocabulary words for that unit. There'll be a materials list so that you can gather materials that you need um, if you want to do all the experiments in here. And there's also coloring pages. So lesson one is Earth's creation and lesson two is facts about Earth and its structure. At the end of the unit, you're going to have a unit one wrap up. So the same thing for unit two. This one's about the lithosphere. You're going to have a vocabulary list, materials needed, and then a coloring page. Lesson three is about plate tectonics. Lesson four is caves. Lesson five is going to be about volcanoes. Lesson six about earthquakes. Lesson seven, rock types on earth. And then we have a wrap up. Now unit three is the hydrosphere and I'm not going to read all of this again because I think you're getting the picture, vocabulary, materials needed, coloring pages. But lesson eight is just an introduction to the hydrosphere. You have lesson nine is oceans. Lesson 10 is groundwater. 11 is glaciers and icebergs. And then again, your wrap up. Unit four is going to be all about the atmosphere. So you're going to get an introduction in lesson 12. Lesson 13, you're going to learn about um, the atmospheric pressure, then humidity in lesson 14, and air composition in lesson 15, and then you'll do your wrap up. Unit 5 is going to be all about weather, so you're going to learn about just an introduction to weather and seasons, cloud formation, precipitation, thunderstorms and tornadoes, hurricanes, and another wrap up. Unit 6 is Beyond Earth, so you're going to learn about the maple makeup of the universe, the sun, Earth's moon, and the seven other planets. Now they also have an appendices where we have reproducible maps, forms, illustrations, memorization lists, scripture memory, coloring pages, recipes and supplemental activities, how to make a folder book, book and resource list, and then the answer key along with the index. So let's go ahead, well actually first, before I show you what a unit looks like, um, I wanna point out that they do have this section on how to use this book, which is very helpful, and kind of goes through how much time you wanna spend on it, um, taking into consideration you know, the ages and grades of your children. Like I said, I would say this is elementary, it's meant, at least in my opinion, to be read aloud to your student. It would be great for um, if you have several children, 
in the elementary age that you want to do science with. You could read the lessons aloud to them and pick and choose which activities you want to do. Um, they do say right over here that there are 24 lessons and six unit reviews, which make for 30 weeks total that you really only need to do it twice a week. And if you're doing it twice a week, you'll be doing about an hour, an hour and a half of science on those two days of the week. And then over here, she has um, a list of kind of what a daily lesson could look like if you're doing it two days out of the week. And then if you wanna do a science notebook, here are some instructions and some different options for setting up a science notebook. All right, let's go ahead now and jump in and look at what a unit looks like. So here's unit one, like I said, it's getting started. One of the things that um, I really liked here was that it did have the option of doing a timeline. So if you're already doing a timeline for history, you already have a timeline in your home that you're building, this might be a fun way to kind of add science into that timeline as well. It's gonna give you some dates that are significant to the lesson that you're learning. So you can do that if you'd like. It also has all the vocabulary words that your child needs to know for that lesson, or for, I'm sorry, for that unit, and then all the materials that you're going to need for that unit as well. It includes a coloring page, which is you know fun for kids to do while you're reading the lesson to them. They can be coloring there. And then here is lesson one. Let me just show you, you would, most likely read to your child, but they could certainly read it themselves if they're older, the lesson. So here's the first part of it. Here's the second, you know, the rest of the lesson. Really, really simple. And then they have a hands-on activity. This one is a map assignment. And then they also have an option for younger students if that maybe map assignment was too difficult for them. So let's go ahead and look at lesson two. Again, you have the lesson that you'll be reading. This one's gonna be a little bit longer than that first lesson, but not too bad. Has some notes on the side, um, important uh, terms for your child to know, along with some additional activities uh, and notes for you as the uh, teacher. And then here is the hands-on. Uh, activity. We've got two different options here that you could choose from. And then at the end of each unit is a wrap up. And so here's kind of what the unit wrap up for unit one would look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump to unit three just to kind of give you a little variation and so you can kind of see um, what another unit would look like. So here's unit three, the hydrosphere. Here are some dates that you could add to your timeline if you were going to do a timeline. Here's some vocabulary for unit three. As you can see, there's a lot more vocabulary here than in unit one. And here's all the materials needed. Here's the coloring page as well. And then here is what you would read or have your child read um, for the lesson and he finishes up right here. And as you can see, there are um, you know, little notes, here's a scripture here um, that corresponds to what you guys are learning about and some just um, terms for your child to know. And then there's a little worksheet in here as well. And then here's the hands-on activities. This is the featured activity, but then you can see they have one for younger students. So here's lesson nine in unit three. Again, the lesson with notes on the side. Um, hands-on activity, lesson 10, there's the lesson right there, and as you can see, these lessons really are not that long. It's not going to take you that long to read those to your child. Here we have um, a worksheet, here's a little review page, and then the hands-on. Here's lesson 11, here's what you're going to be reading hands-on activity. And then here's the unit three wrap up. Looks very similar to what we saw in unit one. So let's go ahead and skip to the back so I can show you kind of some of the things that are in the back of the book. So first you're going to have the glossary with the terms. And so this is really nice if you are having your child do the vocabulary words, they can look those up in the back and write them on note cards or in their binder, however you're gonna do that. 
This is the reproducible maps, forms, and illustrations. So lots of different maps here. Forms, these forms are great. So if you're gonna have your child maybe re do some additional reading, maybe you have an older upper elementary, fourth or fifth grader, you want them to have a little bit more in-depth lesson than what is provided here. Um, you can get some books from the library and they can fill out uh, this daily reading sheet. If you're gonna do a field trip, um, they have a checking it out experiment form. Um, if you have an older child and you want them to do maybe a composition, you know, an essay, this is um, a form to help them do that. And lots of different charts and worksheets in here. So lots of different options that, you know, that really make it, um, you know, flexible and you can just do what works for your family. There's also a memorization list of all the things your child could be memorizing. I was gonna say should be memorizing, but you know what? I didn't have my kids memorize these, um, or my younger ones anyways. The older ones, yes, they did memorize them, but the younger ones I didn't. But if you want them to memorize, and that's something that you guys enjoy doing, or maybe, they, maybe your kids don't enjoy memorizing, but you want them to memorize, then they have those here as well for you. They also have scripture memory, which I just love that we are tying God's word into what they are learning about in science. So they have those as well. Then, like I said, there's coloring pages. There are, let me see if I can get to the front here, recipes and supplemental activities. So even more activities that you could do to enhance the lesson that you are learning. There are instructions here. I'm kind of skipping ahead, here we go. Um, instructions for how to make a folder book which is a lot of kids enjoy doing those. And then there is a book and resource list. So again, if you wanna go deeper into the um, topic being studied, they have some great books listed here to kind of get you started. Um, uh, some you could probably find in your library and some you might have to purchase. And then they have the answer key in the back and of course um, there's an index. So that, is a look inside Christian Kids Explore Earth and Space. I hope this kind of look inside the book was helpful for you. Give it a thumbs up if it was. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them as best I can. And again, I will leave a link if you um, down below if you are interested in getting this textbook. I will leave a link down below and you can go check that out and purchase it if that's something that looks like your kids would enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again in the